All right, welcome back. So we are successfully uh, taking our bytes uh, and we're pushing them up to Firebase storage uh, and it's saving it in Firebase storage, uh, but we haven't closed the loop yet. So we um, can manually uh, go in and get the, uh, the download URL, but that's obviously not what we want to do. Uh, so let's see if we can fix that first uh, and then we'll come back and we'll add kind of like a second featured photo. So the first thing we want to do is right now uh, it's uploading. And what's happening is when we did this put, um, it actually was doing an asynchronous op operation uh, and then at some point it finished. And what we need to know is we need to know when did that put finish. In order to know when the put finished, uh, we need to save off a reference. Uh, so I'm going to call this the upload task uh, and it's of type firebase.storage.upload uh, task. You can see my name was really not that clever. It's just what type of um, what type of uh, variable it is. And that upload task is really a stream, uh, which is kind of cool. Or actually, sorry, it's a promise. Um, and a promise has a dot then uh, that it can do. Uh, and this dot then can take a fat arrow function. Uh, and the fat arrow function receives uh, something called an upload snapshot. So you're going to say upload snapshot which is of type Firebase dot storage uh, dot upload snapshot. I look forward to Angular Fire Storage just because my, my, the names of my variables is going to get shorter, right? Um, and then what happens in here is we can say things. So this is when the upload is complete. Uh, so that's the main thing that this callback does. It says, hey, the upload is complete. Uh, the other thing that you care about in here is it also gives you the download URL. Uh, so from this upload snapshot, it's got a download URL. And that download URL is what we want to save. Uh, and so we can save that to Firebase. Uh, and we can, we can use either uh, the database, like the standard Firebase API directly, um, or we could use Angular Fire. doesn't really matter. Um, and again, we could use um, dot .child, dot .child, dot .child, uh, or we could just kind of like stick it up here into the same place. Notice that here's where I stuck it in storage, uh, and then here's where I'm going to stick the download URL in the database. So they all kind of have their own functions in life. And then we've already hooked up, which is kind of neat, um, the listening for that change. So actually, when I upload something now, I should like see it. So let's go ahead and do a small one first. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a small picture of me. And so it says uploading, and then it says upload complete, uh, and then it should have showed it right there. Um, didn't seem to show it right there. Um, so it didn't really work. Uh, so I've got to figure out what on earth I did wrong. Uh, so I came back over here and looked to see what I did wrong, and I, I have the Firebase database reference here, but I never actually set uh, anything on it. Uh, so I do actually need to set something in Firebase. Very useful, and I want to use that download URL. Um, so yeah, and if you wanted to get rid of the uh, the interim step here, I mean, you don't need to create a variable here. You could just say upload snapshot download URL. All right, let's try it again where I actually save something uh, to that URL. So I'm going to say choose file. Um, so I'm going to go to 007, which is a bigger file. So it says uploading for a little while. And then when the uploading is done, it says upload complete. Uh, and then there you see it. Uh, and if I want to switch back to my smaller file, uh, my Fisher DS, uh, it will quickly upload, upload complete, and show up. Cool. So we are uh, getting the download URL now. Um, it really wasn't that much code, uh, which is kind of neat, right? So auto format here. Um, and so that actually saves it into the database, uh, and then we can use it later. Let's go ahead and uh, go to where we can use two photos. Uh, it'll be a pretty easy change. And so what I want to do is I want to, you know, have this photo and then I kind of want to have another photo. And so these two photos, one of them is going to use URL one, the other is going to use URL uh, two. Uh, so this would be featured photo two. The only problem that I've got right now is both inputs are calling the same function. Um, and so really what I'd like to do is I'd like to just pass another parameter uh, just so it knows uh, whether it's for URL one or URL two. So I'm just going to pass another parameter uh, that says URL1 or URL2. 
if we go look at uh, the app right now, it says, you know, choose file, and it says choose file, and then it says like featured photo two. Note the reason it does this is because there is no featured photo two. That's easy to fix. And the way we fix that is with uh, an NGF. So my image, uh, I only want it to show up if uh, there is uh, a featured photo uh, with a URL one. Now notice that this is a pretty long thing to type. And so what you can do is you can just say as URL. Uh, and then in here, you can just type uh, URL. And now we want to do that for both uh, image one and image two. Uh, the only difference is that this one we want to be uh, URL one, URL two. Um, and I can reuse that, that shorthand variable because it's kind of local to that area. And the only thing that does there is that'll make um, the image kind of not show up there in an ugly way. All right, let's go fix our function. So we passed in this string to it. Uh, and so now it's kind of got um, the event. And then it's also got the, we'll call it the photo name string. And really, it's just anywhere where we hard coded uh, URL one, I want to now use that variable instead. So it's just the two places. In order to use the variable, I'm going to use back ticks instead of single quotes. And I'm going to do that so I can do string interpolation uh, and use the photo name variable. And now this is the exact same here in the storage, and it's the exact same here in the database. So I'm using back ticks uh, and string interpolation to put it into the right place. Now if that works, um, I should just be able to uh, upload a new picture uh, for my favorite two, right? So I'm just going to grab any old image that has got like a green screen and it looks like. So it says uploading, uh, and then it'll say upload is complete, uh, and then boom, there's my, my green screen. Great, so pretty happy with this. Uh, I can change this picture as well. Uh, I can put it to something different, and it'll put it into storage. Uh, and then once it's put it into storage, it'll put it into the database. And then once it's in the database, it pops back up here. Um, another thing I'd like to do is I'd kind of like for them to be side by side. Uh, that's just an HTML thing. Um, in order to put them side by side, I'm going to kind of wrap them both into a div. Uh, and then I'm going to use my buddy Angular Flex Layout uh, to help me out. So I'm going to wrap both of them in a div uh, and then do a little auto form out there. And then I'm going to have a parent div uh, with an FX uh, layout, a line rule on him. Um, and I think the rule that I want to use here, so this is all going to be in this div, um, I think I want it to have like space around um, in the row direction. Uh, and then in the column direction, I'll just say center, but the, the cross axis doesn't matter. Um, and space around, there's kind of like center, start, end. Um, it just kind of spaces them out as best it can. On my small screen, space around is probably not going to look great. Um, maybe if they were smaller photos, uh, go get the, the itty bitty pictures of me. So there's a, a 25 by 25 version of me. Uh, and then here's a really small version of me over on this side. So with those rules, it should kind of like space them evenly, kind of like this. Uh, so that looks pretty good. Um, as long as I'm sneaking things into this video, uh, there's another thing that I will, I do want to tell you about. Um, and that's this input right here. It says choose file and it says the file name. That's not very material designy. Um, and since it's not very material designy, you regularly want to have your own button. Uh, and I'm going to cheat here uh, and I'm just going to make a button. Uh, I'm going to say it's type is button. And I'm not going to use material design, but I'm just going to say on the button, uh, my pretty material design button. So you can pretend like that's a beautiful button. And what I want to do is on the input, um, I want to hide it. Uh, so I'm going to cheat and I'm just going to say style display none. Note that ng if wouldn't work because that would just take it completely out of the DOM. Uh, whereas this style display none makes it just kind of be hidden. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a uh, featured input one tag. And then whenever I click this button up here, I'm just going to pretend click uh, featured input one uh, by calling uh, dot click, right? Um, so it's kind of like I'm hiding uh, the input um, and I'm showing my pretty material design button because it's, you know, all beautiful. Um, but when I click this, 
it pretends like the other one just got clicked. Uh, and you can see that it uploads things just, um, just like it did before. It's just that that way you can hide the kind of ugly looking uh, input element or input for a file and you can show whatever pretty thing you want. You don't get the file name listed next to it, but if you cared about that, you could do it. Um, but regularly people don't want their UI and this is the way that you get around it uh, with this little like faking a click thing. Uh, cool, so this is a pretty uh, pretty significant thing. I think I forgot to check it in last time, a little off my game lately. Uh, but this is uh, image uploads for featured photos. And the neat thing about this app is we're kind of halfway done, right? So there's featured photos and then there's a list of photos uh, and we're halfway there for this unit already, which is kind of neat. All right, we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.